Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jason Hopkins. Hi. Welcome to our business. I don't know if people know anything about Express. Express has 750 locations around the country. The largest staffing company, the number one out of all of them, in industrial staffing and office services. Now, in North Nashville is what we're here to talk about today. Uh, in really North Nashville, East Nashville, Sorry. downtown, uh, Northwest, kind of up around the Bordeaux area, I really focus on local people. Now, what is going on specifically in North Nashville right now? I'll throw it out to you guys. What's going on? Construction. What else? It's affecting our local community. Regentrification, Re almost to the state of discomfort. <laughs> House values going up, property taxes going up, uh, people moving out, companies moving in, new people moving in, etc. Job openings have almost tripled since 2009. The ones that are currently open, that people can't find somebody. All right, openings are tripled, but however, the labor force participation rate is somewhat going down. We'll talk about some of that. There's some legitimate reasons. Now. Restructuring assistance programs. The one thing that uh, that we're talking about is if somebody's making $10 an hour and then their pay rate goes up to $15 an hour, that does not always mean that somebody's making more money. Okay? Because tax rates go up, some people lose their government assistance whenever that starts going up, and sometimes it's really, really quick. We have workers in our community that are very hesitant once those pay raises start happening and very hesitant to go to full-time, especially if they have dependents. So that is something that we are really, uh, we are emphasizing is the way the assistance programs are right now. Some people are hesitant to go to work because of the benefits they can lose or the tax rates going up the more they start earning. Um, what, we, uh, what we are talking all the time is, and also keep in mind if somebody accepts a job, there is a very high chance that job is going to turn over in the first 60 days. And then this person lost all their benefits and now they're out of work due to the company or due to that maybe not being the best fit. So we talk about gradual, you know, as far as being on, you know, welfare benefits, gradual, you know, moving people up. Don't take it away all at once because people hesitate to accept. When somebody comes in for employment, I know Sadie's just here working on the phone. When somebody comes in for employment, they come in, they get a greeting and schedule people for interviews. A lot of times we do interviews with instances. So that is something uh, to note. Down here we have our postings. I'd ask everybody to take a little special attention. This is called Associates of Excellence. If you go all the way down to the left, you'll see when we opened in 2009, I didn't have any workers, so the list was only about 10 deep. But as you start, these are people that have worked, uh, you know, just a lot, uh, a lot of hours. You know, just it just keeps growing every single year. And again, these are North Nashville people that need the work. I'm about people being in North Nashville, working in North Nashville, taking their kids to school in North Nashville. I mean, that's, I'm all about that. Okay, let me take you back here. I'll show you our placement board. We have people doing interviews, calls, and all that. <coughs> 100 scheduled interviews. 50 show up looks good. for interview. Thanks, Will. Okay, y'all see a big fall off right there? Come on, people, just show up. And then we put 40 through orientation. I mean, four out of every five that shows up you know, we're going to put them all the way through paperwork. You know, sometimes when we bring somebody in, a lot of them, most of the time it's because they're out of area. And I will say most of the time when we don't put somebody through orientation, it's due to somebody wanting administrative work that does not have administrative skills that doesn't want to work industrial. Does that make sense? That's where that fall off goes on. And out of 29, and these people become associates. And 29 associates first pay. The thing I can control 
is the 50 people showing up in my lobby and the 29 people that we get out first pay. And keep in mind, the people that work for them, these aren't bad jobs. 33 hours on average, $13 an hour on average. 